Well, our next story is one that has rattled our newsroom with calls of concern and filled our Facebook page with posts <laughs> from you. It's about what we at first referred to as a donkey, but now we believe it to be a burrow, a little lost burrow. It's <laughs> not a mule as far as we know. You demanded answers as to where this burrow belongs, and we sent Local 15's Darwin Singleton out into the field to find some answers. <laughs> Darwin, don't be stubborn. Where's that bureau now? That burrow? <laughs> burrow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a secret. The Sheriff's Department swore <laughs> us to secrecy, Greg, in order to get access to said borough, but, or bureau, but they believe it belongs to someone in the Grand Bay area. But one thing quickly became obvious to me. This borough is someone's pet, and you are about to see why. Is this your ass, donkey? It started with a picture online and lots of your concern and response. But more than 24 hours later, and this lonely little fellow is still, well, lonely. Are you lost? Oh. Caged behind a chain link fence like some kind of animal. What laws did you break to wind up behind bars? Well, he's not really broken any laws, but he is in the custody of the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. The animal appear, appears to be taken care of, well fed, and, and it's currently being taken care of and well fed right now. Um, and we're just trying to find the rightful owner. If we don't find who you belong to, somebody will want this burrow. And I guess it is a burrow, isn't it? I what believe is it? it's a burrow. Lieutenant Paul Birch is just as bewildered as I am, as the burrow is. He says they picked it up after several Grand Bay residents saw it walking along a road. They were afraid it was going to be hit by a car. Perhaps he wandered away from home by mistake or just got lost after being placed in a live nativity scene. Either way, this donkey or burrow or whatever is obviously somebody's pet because he is one affectionate animal. He's a cutie, aren't you? Yes, you are. And if you are that owner, your burrow has only one wish this Christmas. So if you are that person, please call the sheriff's department soon because the batteries in this thing aren't going to last forever. Don't be so sad. It's Christmas. <laughs> if this is your borough, Lieutenant Burt says, don't worry, you're not in trouble. You won't be charged anything for its return. They just want to return the little fellow to his family. They've followed several leads. They didn't check out. If it's yours, call the sheriff's department now, but they will require that you prove it's yours. Greg, I do not know how that works, but... But they're going to ask you for some pictures or borough degrees or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, certificates. I don't know. We're just going to let you keep going. I'm done. I'm just glad you weren't stubborn about not this. Not me. I'm yeah. not a mule. Very affectionate. <laughs> obviously, so it's pet, how it comes up. And yeah, and, and to identify it, you obviously can't call it by name because it follows anybody, obviously. <laughs>